You can never be consistent on Dust 2. Astralis did that. Astralis tend to do what they please. So, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Tuning in to the final match of this stint of the event. Device. He gets himself one before going down. Glaive in lower tunnels can trade this. Bomb alone on catwalks. Meant to join forces with the two T's on long. Magisk tapping away will be traded by Nico. Now, unfortunately for G2, they've got low HP, but Hunter doesn't seem to mind. Glaive making a ton of sound. Just loses his face, but Zipnix with the frag grenade dunks it onto Hunter. Where's the peak? Nico right there. Now he's got the smoke, he has no kit, he's got the health advantage, and Nico's still standing in the open. Now Zipax just claws him down to give Astralis the opening round. In a lot of the rounds. Impact frags. M4 up for Dupree. Flash back from his first angle, and G2 gonna run with what they've gotten already. Bombs in tow. There's nobody inside of tunnels, but Amanek wasting no time. Just eight Nico's flash, still able to lend a helping hand, Hunter falling off Cat, just took the no scope, but Glaive didn't get his kill. This is a bit of a robbery already, regardless of whether Astralis can manage to piece together the retake. They've got the smoke and the frag, could block off tunnels. You can see Nico wrapping around. And in that nasty Kovac 2v4 on Nuke versus Furia, it was Nico to play the long con wraparound. It works out, or it should have, yet again. Aminex got it into the clutch. He nearly dies out to Device, but will find his kill and give G2 their first round. Sitting behind Aminex. Saying Aminex, thanks for, for keeping my seat warm. Okay. Rifle kill. Uh, up to the top of it. Traded back out, man. Oh. Hunter goes for two. He's looking Very for more crossfire incoming. Oh my god, how does he get all three? One man army. Swinging out from mid. Your natural response might be hide. Might be turtle up, might be let someone else do it. But he's willing to take the round into his own hands. It's cool to see that it's working and that they're comfortable. I can get aboard. I guess the one good thing is that no matter how oh. teams watch you. Oh, okay, never mind. Hold on. Almanac's coming out with the entry. Did he spot two in pit? He's looking to clear it. Oh, oh just three fire. fires, Glaive. That's nice. Now he's got two teammates to replace him. They molly out him out of position. They are just hunting down the members of Astralis. Oh, for a second, that looked like it was going to connect. Device could find timing. Maybe. He, oh, no, not even Nico. Timing. Yeah, goes the other direction. That's the bomb spotted, which is interesting. But they did stack B appropriately. Yeah, they, they're committed, and they've got one Hummer, so you, Dupree cannot move from this position, whether they like it or not. So they're just gonna clasp their hands, prayer emoji, and hope that they that, that G2 overthink this. Zipix will now run out towards mid, and oh my Ball god, down. that's not a bad pickup. It's it's one v two situation. If there's anybody to do it, Dupree, he's been extremely on form. Oh my god, Nexa. Wait, oh, oh. dude, 10 seconds. That yeah. would have been incredibly close. That was super close. Can hold now for the cat plant. They probably never peak long in this situation. And the, the Strauss players like to rotate through CT in this spot as opposed to cat. Here come the retake nades quite quickly. Magis, the only man to take damage as of yet for Astralis, and Glaive, he's gonna send a flash up to the skies. Hunter peeks over, gets Zipnix dead to rights, but Nico, he just got himself a collateral. And now in the 2v2, he cuts down yet another, and Nexus there to close it. A sixth round for G2. Nico's off shining in that eighth round. Wow. And I'm mainly again. including Kenny S now. Again, Aminex going to go for this. And he almost walked away with a frag yet again. You know, he did that same extinguish on one round with the AK, where we see him go pre-fire the second player in pit. Mm -hmm. Trying it with the MAC-10, giving himself a m bigger challenge, a harder task. Glaive rotates, and Dupree catching Kenny S just the corner of the wall. Hunter's trying to dodge the fireworks as bomb's been dropped over. This looks like an end to the streak of G2. There's a long control when teams play 3A and they just run out mid. The only thing they have to rebuy here was their utilities. Just push. Oh, it's perfect! 
Glaive coming off of the mid play. Lines up three players from G2. We've talked about this consistency and mid control from the offense. Find an answer. Yeah, they'll need Wolverine's claws to get this one back. And Magisk finds his solo frag on long. It all falls onto Hunter, and it's back to back. Five members surviving for Astralis. Score four to seven. We saw them just curl up on that catwalk defense. Against Astralis, they love mm -hmm. retaking through CT spawn. Everybody from CT spawn. All they, they love doing it. All right. Well, let's see if they can do it well enough. Flashbangs go over. Magisk. Crispy headshot. Then he gets the kill into Kenny S. A third kill for Magisk on the retake. This is a flawless retake from Astralis. The first casualty stacked up against them, but Nexa in a one versus five transition oh. spray for the Zipnik's headshot. That one was a beauty. Yo. Oh. Oh. So the shot. Device a bit slow. Mm -hmm. A bit slow. Now we're gonna get that mid peek down suicide. Device goes into it, but <laughs> the trade from behind him. Two ops better than one. There is a second on the play in Nico, and there it is. What is going on? So sure enough, a third player with the op, but Hunter survives it. The frag, ah, oh, off the mark. <sighs> they they don't want to go around. B now. Yeah, so this is just about Magisk, basically. Yeah, Magisk versus Nexa. You can see Magisk kind of. Who gets lucky? Uh, Seem that oh, oh unsuspecting walks right into it now immediately as you called bomb starts moving over and the tunnels players try to keep up that pressure on B instead it's just Magisk tucked along the wall and Astralis wasting no time getting up the catwalk device with the CZ committed to the corner excellent headshot coming in from Kenny Magisk just moving his crosshair and it's a two versus four with two ops to try and retake the a site it's the final round of the half they've got nothing to lose but they may have already lost Dupree swapping out to the M4 device unable to get something just yet so he too swapping to the automatic rifle Kenny getting Dupree as he jumps through the smoke and device on for the one versus three the full HP prevails G2 esports 9-6 after the T side of dust 2 it's Kenny S having cleared it all they're so confident in this a stack but Magisk will find the first kill. Curious to see just how blind he was. Excellent follow-up flash, but they just can't quite get their headshots, damn it. Glaive's able to get himself across the ramp. And we've got Kenny S up on boxes. Because of the tunnel flank, he had the catwalk. He worked into the site. They're body blocking for him. The bomb plant goes down. Three kills coming in for G2. Dupree runs forward, but Kenny S covered by his teammates. Now Magisk has everything to do, and that bomb's not nearly planted for him. Kenny's working through it on the defuse. G2 with double digits immediately off the second pistol. I know you were cheering for the retake. Hit. Bomb plant, 5v5 retake. All right. G2 with their hands full. Remember, Device doesn't have armor, so he's going to have to try and keep his head down. A little smoke to move forward here. Hunter anticipating Glaive on a perilous peak as three CTs would be ready to receive, but it's a missed shot from Nico. And now they just instantly swarm up the ramp. Dupree's gonna answer. Device just cowering in the corner as his teammates do great work, shutting it down for now. Kenny S answers. There's the first, but it's Dupree with the Galil and Astralis with the seven. So almost the first real round of the half by their standards. Hunter completely called out by the utility, but oh Glaive, my goodness! If only he had a gun in hand. He's oh my god! He's death. running right through this. Oh. Of course, the Hunter doesn't expect it, but Amanek from the back of the B site, he's looking to lock down the line, and the spray goes astray. Nico on the other side of the window runs in, insta kill on Zipnix, and we have Device in the clutch. Minute 15, he falls silent. He hears Nico. That would have been his chance, but now he's gunned down. G2 with an 11th, just catching all of Astralis off guard with that flashbang and not letting them sink their teeth into the B hit. We're going to have Kenny S tested. Up on cross, and Nico goes running inwards, lines up two players. He even sprays into the third. He could do more damage, but the gun goes dry. Device 
with the op answers in the 2v5. Kenny S throwing the flashes out. CT starting to sniff around at the base of mid. This means Cat is compromised. And if Astralis don't turn around to stop it once the smoke fades, oh my goodness, oh my Aminex running through. He tried to screw them over. Hunter back here as well. Just trying to exchange shots, trying to trade damage through. Nexa does stop Bomb and a second kill as he snaps it onto the site and gives G2 their 13th round. Could have been worse, Nexa. On Goose. Flashbang connects to the face and Glaive with the opening kill of the round. Now down goes Nico. Well, that's a bit awkward. Oh Ooh, my but god. Hunter comes up, almost stopping the bomb. Magisk will give oh. one back. Such a strange round. Nexa eats a flash, doesn't want to run away from it, and then they spot him. Yeah. New favorite map, maybe. Pulling away from Hunter. They came into this half with. I believe one kill between them. With USPs and a 5-7, somehow works out. Dupree jumping up, gets dinked. Glaive also down to 41. And Kenny S. What is going on? He's pushing. He's pushing with the op. And because of the damage, that just called one down. Kenny S. He's found the bomb. He oh, finishes off Glaive. Oh, I love that. Goes in for second servings. Yeah, they don't want to go A. They know that now that he has tunnels control. Oh my god, this is just USPs! All of this damage stacked up from the vanilla pistols. Device and Dupree on damage control. Able to get it back. Kenny through the wall and the smoke. How have they managed this? Hold on. And how will Dupree deny it? He drops into the CT spawn. But we've got an opera watching this. Kenny S, he's going to make sure he doesn't cross back to the B site. Kenny scope, oh. and he gets him. A 3K from Kenny and an awesome pistol hold on Cat. The, the USPs as well, you gotta credit everybody there. Great teamwork. And look what this nets them. Double Deagle between Magisk and Zipnix. Immediately gonna be sprinting out long A. Nico, he's got himself three kills. Shuts down everybody that managed to get out from the doorway. Sends the frag soaring and sends Astralis spiraling back into mid. Where Hunter will meet them with a smoke. Bomb is dropped. Dupree's gonna walk through this. That's such a simple pickup and device in a 1v5 or else G2 take their 15th. Mohan, that last round Damn. with the USPs, that is a turning point for G2 because it looked like Astralis were gonna cut this close and instead they get cut down. Wow, it's been fun to watch. That was, uh, that was pretty interesting. Again, the CT side is un unlike a, a CT side I'm used to seeing from G2, which is cool. And at this point, device in desperation mode, willing to give Nico the fourth. Fantastic stuff by him on an individual level. We've seen him in a few different spots. Smoke grenade out to CT spawn. And Hunter picks up the opening kill. Aminex gonna throw the flash, so Nico easily coming in here. And this is G2 just shutting it down. Three back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back rounds to close this 16-11. Awesome showing on Dust2. Another victory over Astralis. And G2 now one round away from closing out Group 3. But even now that he's back, he's maybe not going full force. Pimp told us that he's a very hands-on caller, and that can be stressful. However, pit the round begins. Yep, that's a lot of bodies for Nexa and Nico, and even Kenny S is empty-handed. Luckily for G2, Hunter and Aminek can get something done. Look at the damage here, Launders. I mean, I don't fancy Aminek's chances. He doesn't have Kevlar himself, but this 5-7's got some damage output. They're all one shot. It's pretty damn close. He swings it open, goes for the bomb planter, gets him first, device up next, drop to 26. Oh my goodness, he's genuinely on for it, and he closes! Four kills in the pistol for Aminek. This guy's been on roller skates the whole series. Okay. It's it's a bit testing, but they have some information as a thing, and yeah. they boost up too. Nico is watching for Glaive here, as you can see. Gets the M4 headshot. That's his second frag on the round. He wants a little bit more. And he'll even get Dupree. Not anticipating the third. Hunter cowers back into cover. But there's not going to be any lurking. It's just about Hunter getting uncomfortable. Yep. But that's of his own volition. Zipix will now push out. But Hunter's in kind of an off angle. Oh, the shoulder peak's perfect. He spotted him. And then he wide swings. But the damage is there, damn it. 
Zipnix taken to 34 HP. Nexa is going to have to come up from Vents. Is Zipnix watching this? No, he's not. And the headshot connects. The frag grenade goes soaring forward, softening him to 28. And the spray nearly enough. But Magisk will skate by. Barely peeking outwards and upwards. But Hunter, he's in a prime position to shut everything down. Kenny S lends a helping hand. Down goes the AK. Down goes Kenny. And a 2v2 ensues. Just enough time left over for the plant. Both these players with Kevlar. Nexa with the AK. Dupree the double flashbang. Nico takes to the heavens alongside Nexa. Post plants from Dupree is deep in lobby. Glaive gets killed instantly on the heaven peak. And now Dupree's going to have to come in with the clutch. Keeps the gun out, and he hears that first tap. Looks up, but dies to Nico with the three-piece. As G2 rob back around, they have absolutely no business winning. Oh, no. Kenny, he gets caught. Just standing and stranded out in the open. Nexa attempts to plug that one back, but it is three members of Astralis going downstairs. They throw the flash to attempt to delay. Hunter knows that his teammates are still a bit further back. Dupree safe or not. Oh. His rumpus sticks out around the side of the bomb plant. Gets easily picked up. And then Nico catching a kill on the back of the site. Now it's Glaive and Device who have to somehow get back into this. Astralis look a bit off right now. Right? That plant was a bit strange. Surprised to see that. Hunter so patient, but the barrel of the M4 could really screw him over. Sure enough, the ump going to get the better angle. 22 health left on device after that. Aminek goes down for free. And Nico, who has opened a couple of rounds already for G2, is going to have to close this fifth one. He's already above the bomb. They've got a smoke and a flash. And they could just go side by side. But instead, one from double doors and one on control. He cuts down the first, oh, sees the second. Device peeking, toying with the idea of it. Oh, the crouching crab walk kill to give G2 their fourth. Just nasty. Another 3K from Nico. The hands of Astralis double incendiary. Flashbangs aplenty, but Nico will connect his flank, almost getting a second kill into Dupree. Kenny S will finish that one. Oh. There is still a chance that they make this happen. Device straight down beneath Nexa, goes wide, and dies. And Kenny S now just has to walk away. So Astralis, congratulations. A second round on the board. But yeah, they're not stopping. Sometimes the info's worth it. Even if you die, rare circumstances where information and vision from G2. They could try and challenge this. Magisk is alone on the other side, and yet he survives with only 10 HP, able to get away from this. Kenny S is going to go chasing, and now Hunter is in a really tight spot. They're spamming him through the door, and it works. Kenny S, can he collateral or just stop it all on his own? He goes peeking into this. He wants a little more. And with that bomb drop, He's got himself somewhat of an opening. A two versus two. Nexa taking to the top of Hunt as Kenny S through smoke kills Magisk. But they put the Clutch God into where he works. You want to talk about being invaluable in terms of Amanek and his style? Well, this is Zipnix. Molotov and a flash. Two CTs lie ahead. And he is focused forward. Gets the first kill and the second. It just can't be explained. Kenny S at bat. He gets the third player in. Flashbang. He could get back into cover just in time. Yeah. The utility staves it off, sends them back the other direction. And now those smokes that they were using to get downstairs are gone. Always a precarious spot when the offer uh -oh. gets a kill and falls back. Nico, he spotted? Yep. And they're going to try and chase him down. But all oh, the crispness of Jesus. the M4. He's going to dodge that frag grenade for the most part. Another Nico head. with another. Four versus two. That flashbang from Kenny S and his one op kill tucked the tail of Astralis right into Nico. His 16th frag then and there versus Device. Eight seconds on the clock as Glaive's going to have to gun down Nexa or just desperately try for the plant. But he'll get neither of the two. And G2 tie at six. Still a bit of time to adapt, but that's an easy pickup. Uh-oh, player dropped. Two players dropped. Nico, Nico and Nexa. Suddenly, this is a two versus three to the favor of Astralis. Can they still hang on?
We've got both the members of the T side downstairs. They're going to find themselves the bomb plant. There's utility for the retake. This was an awkward position, but it's not lost yet. Individual heroics could make the difference. Frag, fantastic. Half of Dupree goes down, and that's an easy pickup. But it's Zipix again in the 1v2 clutch. He smoked off from Decon. We've got two kits on the play. A bit of a gap in the smoke. That gives Zipex all he needs. Kenny S scoped in. Hits the shot. Dropped to 40. Closes door. And Amanek now is going to get on top of that bomb. But they tap it yet once more. Zipex wild spray. Not his day. Is there time? Yes. A seventh for G2. Despite the internet's best efforts. Yeah, for real. Uh, yeah. Oh my god. It was a good try. Now two members of G2 inside of Lobby. Zipex coming to find them, but actually one man just went up to the rooftops. Oh, and Hunter, he kills Zipex. They're going to try and cross over to Sc Secret, and they better get down before Silo is in position. Amanek seeing everything. That's all the information they need. A 5v3 turned 5v2, and it is flawless until finally Dupree gets one on the board here for Astralis. He's doubled back now, wants his bomb. Amanek. Oh, the headshot connects as the frag grenade landed. An eighth round for G2 to close the CT side. Maybe Amanek can deliver in yet another pistol. That 4K in the pistol round was huge because it led G2 to win five of the first six rounds. Glaive with the double headshot. Device Oof. nailing two to the side of Mini. Blink and you'll miss it. Astralis takes second pistol. This time there is no clutch for Amanek. And there is now no longer a lead. To go downstairs. Damn. Device ahead of this connects the op shot. A four versus three with a Molotov to stave half the players off, essentially. Why does Device look like he's trying to entry rip? This is insane. Very good. Glaive next to the door. Knows that Nico's close. Amanek right here with him. 20 seconds left. Smoke up for the bomb plant. And Glaive gets cleared out of the closest of corners. A third kill from Device through the smoke of all things. And if Amanek can best him, then he's on for the clutch. But he crawls by. 10 seconds left. And Dupree's not going to challenge out from doors. So now there's just no time. He'll go for that one fake plant, and it costs him. Double digits for Astralis first. A 3K from Device as he goes to the opposite side of ramp. 20th round, a three-point lead for Astralis. And with Squeaky blown open, this could be quick contact. I like what we're seeing from Device. But Amanek, he gives chase to Zipex. This is a second round in a row where B ramp compromises the lower sight. And Amanek, hunting for another fight, has Magisk just beneath him. He swoops onto him. What? Last bullet. Headshot connects, and he wants more. This guy doesn't stop until Device makes him. Dupree from the rafters with the double to close. Astralis take a 12. Damn, some crazy stuff happening right before our eyes. And Glaive's going to give chase here. Walking in behind him, Nexa gets around the next corner. This is ridiculous. And Nexa doubles back, but oh, they didn't see him. It's literally like teleported behind him. Oh, and Magus comes into hut. Wait. Three players pushed up outside device. Gonna have one on his left side. Tries to jump up for no reason. Awkwardly. Weird timing. Magus in front of the hut. Oh. Dude, Magus taking control of this round. Curious to see what Glaive called there. He got out into T-spawn mm -hmm. and had Magus come join him through hut, knowing that there was a chance Nexa had tucked in around that corner. Timing has been wild in this 21st round. But all they have left is an attempt at the A site. Hunter, trying not to kill his teammate, has to buy a bit of time, and now it's the 1v1. He's got Zipex to deal with. Now, on these ramp entries, we've seen Zipex in back-to-back -back rounds go down empty-handed. All the way around. There's just no time, really. Yeah. Hunter's fully tucked. Time is ticking quick. And just like that, Hunter gets himself the third kill. Gets G2 their ninth. Good stuff. Three-round lead for Astralis. Molotov meant to interrupt the smokes. Hunter quick on the heels of Glaive, but Magisk sprays into Hunter. Nexa trades this out from Hut, hits the dink, and that should be that. But Magisk surviving longer than he has any business doing so. Nico has to eject. What is this round from Magisk? 
They fluffed it. An insane hold. It was an op on Nico, I believe, that comes out from Hut and just can't quite catch that oh. kill. There's, there are, it's literally a 1v2 with, with, with scoped guns. Nico, oh, free frag. One-on-one -on -one situation. Opportunity to drop, man. You know he wants to. You know he's thinking about it, but instead he'll wait. Oh, damn, this is where it gets spicy. He's got a 1v2 under his belt already this map, but that's one-third of his total kills on Nuke. Okay. He so. swaps over to the ump. Drops down into the vents. Nico knows this. Look at this angle. He peeks. Oh my goodness. Nico with the gall <laughs> to go for the fight. <laughs> now, Device also, he feels like he, he has an aggressive bone in his body right now that's trembling. He really does like taking these fights. But also, Magisk. Unrelenting aggression inside of the hut to get an opening. And here's, I mean, I guess where they can just initially peel back. Is there something wrong with Hunter? No. Okay. Device looking for an additional kill here. I really did like that aggression from Magisk, but it's now Zipex on the kill feed. Device with a double. The op sings from Garage, and Amanek has bomb. Only man left over, and it's empty handed from G2. Astralis right back in the lead with conviction. Kind of exactly what this is perfect for the CTs. A-pop, free, good for one. Kenny trades it, and a second from Kenny S. He's wary of a player above. Nexo, one and done out from Mini. 2v2. They know Glaive's back by Mini. Nico's smoke will deny him vision, but oh, the crawl out from Zipex as Glaive lines up the kill through smoke. Nico sees the man in the rafters, tapping for it, gets the spray down. Glaive with a slight health advantage. But Nico's gonna fall back, taking further damage, faking the plant once, and coming back out for the kill. Oh my god, he's walking up the left. This is gonna be hard to read. Glaive knows what's about to happen. Oh, but, but he can't edge. stop it! Damn. Damn. They have so much money in their back pocket, and they're gonna come into this limping. But they are gonna challenge onto ramp. Zipex, easy pickup versus Nexa. Maybe a gun would have made a difference. Uh, they pick that one up. They rush downstairs. No one's in position. Magisk. He's gonna swing that door wide. Challenges through it. And Aminex Mac 10 is enough to get the kill. Hunter's SMG is in position. And somehow, the lesser weapons versus Astralis is how G2 take 14. Yeah, but what's so but that crazy that was the triple is... off they tried to rush against. Yeah, how is their buy so bad? Yeah. I don't even know. Uh, I know they didn't spend their money, but what the heck? I mean, it's crazy, Big but it works. Big plays. Zipex, he gets the back of Aminek, can't connect the kill. And this was just Desert Eagles across the board for Astralis. We saw Magisk and Glaive take damage, but still open with a 5v4, and Hunter waits for no man as he charges down into Magisk, getting his second, and Nexa. La oh, ramp. He's gonna go for the bomb plant. Glaive trying to catch him with busy hands. Leaves Dupree one versus four. It is in stunning fashion with the lesser weaponry that G2 have enabled themselves to rob a 14th and 15th round. Not only launders giving themselves an economic backbone, but completely crushing the coffers of Astralis with that last one. And as if to send a message. Nexa deletes Dupree. Device able to hold his angle, but I mean, it's not like he can go peeking out. Magisk will be dropped to 22, and Nexa splits out from Hut. There's his second kill. Kenny S gets the one in heaven. And now if they can shut down the last two members of Astralis, G2 16 13. Device comes peeking and he goes down. Zipex with a lot to prove after a very quiet CT side, after a very quiet nuke, in fact. He's got three players to bring it back. He gets the first one just down beneath him. Nexa fires a shot. Oh, a second kill from Zipex. 34 health. He's got on top of Bomb. It's a 10 second defuse. Nico, he's crawling forward, but he doesn't realize yet. Oh my god, it's down to two. Zipex denied as G2 arrive, topping group three. What an extraordinary win, and to almost have the Zipex clutch at the end, some dignity frags for him. It's almost like everybody wins, but ultimately, G2, this T side, the performance from Nico.
that. Dust 2 as well and all of the differences in all of their gameplay.